big meetings going on in Washington today and tomorrow. Before a big meeting tomorrow, we're hearing that the IMF does indeed, Mark, want uh, China to rein in credit and allow the currency, the yuan, to appreciate. This announcement also comes after we've heard from leaders in the U.S., in Brazil, and also in India, who are pushing for very much the same. A, a part of the report I want to highlight for you, the report I'm referring to, the semi-annual economic outlook report, in it the IMF pointed to stronger growth around Asia and that China's yuan, China's currency, is undervalued and undervalued substantially. The IMF also urging the yuan to appreciate, and it is exactly the opposite of what Hong Kong is pushing for. Hong Kong's finance secretary is concerned that if the appreciation is too speedy, it could hamper development here in Hong Kong, could hurt exports and also stoke inflation. As you know, the yuan has been pegged against the U.S. dollar since the summer of 2008. Quickly before we wrap up, a check on the markets and how trading is going more than halfway through the hold off on a rate hike, keeping borrowing costs at the lowest we've seen in six years. That is no surprise to analysts. Mark? Melissa, thanks.